So this is the problem and here we have to solve x square d square y by dx square plus 5x into d by dx plus 4y is equal to x into log x. So here is the solution for this. So the given equation in the operator form can be written as x square d square plus 5xd plus 4 of y is equal to x log x. x log x here let x square dx is equal to theta into theta minus 1 and xd is equal to theta and put see here put x is equal to e power z if you take log on both sides log x will be equal to z and substitute all these uh, equations in equation 1 so construct this as equation 1 and therefore in place of x square d square i am writing as theta into theta minus 1 see here in place of x square d square plus 5 x d plus 4 of y is equal to x log x x log x so in place of x square d square i am writing theta into theta minus 1 plus 5 times of x d is e in place of x d i am writing theta plus 4 of y is equal to x what is x here this is e power z and log z is equal to z and see if i multiply this will be theta square minus theta plus 5 theta plus 4 of y is equal to z into e power z so here this will be theta square 5 theta minus theta is nothing but 4 theta plus 4 of y is equal to z into e power z now we need the auxiliary equation see the auxiliary equation is nothing but the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 so in place of theta if i put m that is m square plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0 so this is nothing but m plus 2 whole square is equal to 0 so this can be written as m plus 2 into m plus 2 is equal to 0 so m is equal to minus 2 comma minus 2 so we got equal roots so the complementary factor by c can be written as c1 plus c2z into here minus 2z e to the power of minus 2z and see here we have so we have to convert this as by c is equal to c1 plus c2 what is z here see i'll show you z is nothing but log x so in place of z i am writing log x into so this is e power z is nothing but x see here e power z is nothing but x so here this can be written as x to the power of minus 2 so this is a complementary factor so this is a and now we have to find out the particular integral so for finding the particular integral by c see here so so for this the y c will be the particular integral by c is equal to 1 by theta square plus 4 theta plus 4 into z into e power z see here how we have to solve this so we have to replace theta by so replace theta by this is theta plus 1 so if i replace like that so i am keeping e power z aside and keeping in place of theta as theta plus 1 so this is theta plus 1 whole square plus 4 times of theta plus 1 plus 4 into z see here if i solve this yp value will be e power z into 1 by this is a square theta square plus 1 plus 2 theta and this is nothing but 4 theta plus 4 plus 4 into z so this is theta so yp value is equal to e power z times of 1 by this is theta square 2 theta plus 4 theta which is nothing but 6 theta this is 1 plus 4 plus 4 which is 9 into z so yp value is equal to e power z times of this can be written as a square plus 3 square theta square plus 3 square plus 2 into theta into 3 so this can be written as theta plus 3 whole square so this is a square so this is b square plus 2ab into z 
now y p value is equal to e power z times of so if i take 3 so this is 3 square so common this will be 1 plus theta by 3 whole square into z so y p value is equal to e power z by 9 times of this is 1 plus theta by 3 whole to the power of minus 2 into z so this can be written as this is e power z by 9 into 1 minus 2 into theta by 3 into z so y p value is equal to e power z by 9 if i multiply this is z minus 2 by 3 derivative of z is equal to 1 so y p value is equal to e power z by 9 into z minus 2 by 3 so which we can write as so we have e power z value as see here y p what is e power z x by 9 times of z is equal to see here z value is equal to this is log x minus 2 by 3 so this is b therefore the general solution can be written as y is equal to so the general solution y is equal to yc plus yp and therefore what is yc yc is nothing but see here yc is nothing but c1 plus c2 log x into x power minus 2 plus yp so this is our yp so this will be x by 9 times of log x minus 2 by 3 see here so it's also very easy here so this is a homogeneous linear equation so this can be written as x square d square plus 5 x 3 plus 4 of y is equal to x log x so here is this substitution in place of x square y square we can write theta into theta minus 1 in place of x d we can write as theta in place of x as e power z in place of log x as z so after substituting so this will be the equation so this is the equation now we have to solve it so the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 in place of theta i am substituting m so that the roots are minus 2 comma minus 2 therefore yc is equal to c1 plus c 2 z into e power minus 2 z and what is z here z is nothing but log x and e power z is nothing but x so this is the complementary factor and now we have to find out the particular integral yp so for finding the yp 1 by theta square plus 4 theta plus 4 into z into e power z so here is the combination this is the fourth method of solving therefore so here a value is equal to 1 so we have to replace theta by theta plus 1 so i am sending e power z to this side and replacing in place of theta is theta plus 1 whole square plus 4 times of theta plus 1 plus 4 into z so after solving so this is the form and here we have to take 3 as common if i send 3 as a common this will be 3 square and here we got 1 1 plus theta by 3 whole square and this if i take it to the numerator this will be 1 plus theta by 3 whole to the power of minus 2 into z so this is power 1 so we have to uh, expand for one time that is 1 minus 2 into uh, theta by 3 into z so 1 into z is z and theta is the first derivative and this is the answer in place of e power z i am writing x x by 9 in place of z i am writing log x minus 2 by 3 and here is the general solution y is equal to yc plus yp and this is the solution thank you so much for watching and this is a solution for the question today thank you so much